I have a couple of coloring books I found at Dollar Tree I thought were kind of cool. Kind of remind me of 80s, a little bit 90s as well. So we got a pop art fantastic, the amazing pop art, and the amusing pop art. So let's check these out. They're not very big. So I guess nostalgia kicked in and I grabbed them. Uh, it does have this like cool foil effect on the front. Kind of tell the camera. Uh, this one's very shiny. So let's take a look at the fantastic one really quick here. Like a generic Superman. 50s kind of style. Boom. Got your jetpack. Like the future of tomorrow. Back in the, uh, I guess the 50s or so. Got the boom strike. So simple ideas, but I think they're pretty cool. Not sure how you go about coloring that easily, but figure it out. Some sports there, soccer. So that was fantastic pop art. Rocket girl. Some of these are just cool pictures that I don't think need to be colored. They're kind of cool in black and white. As they go, as they are. So these I'm not a huge fan of that they have like <coughs> more than a few. I think one or two is enough. <laughs> For like the boom and the bang and stuff, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. And we have some music ones here, it looks like, maybe. So they all are all are different coloring pages, which is nice. So sometimes if you grab like a Star Wars one, they'll have like a lot of similar pages in it from one to the other. Really, all about the same style of art. Not really any difference, I don't think. Theme wise, I think probably like the first one the best, actually. As far as the art and the pieces in it, I think I like this one the best. Let me know what you guys think. If these are worth picking up for $1.25, or should so just leave them on the shelf. Thanks for watching, Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Smash that like button if you can. Like and subscribe. Thanks.